Hey everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we learned that how we can install the Loragon and how to run the PHP project, right? And uh, you can also create multiple projects. So now question arise that where we need to create the multiple projects. So just go here, go to this uh, uh, C drive where we install this Laragon. You can install it anywhere you want. And in the www directory, you need to place all of your, uh, all of your uh, projects here. And uh, you can also run it to, through this local host slash demo slash like this, or you can run this through the, uh, through the domain, right? Local host slash demo so you can still use this like this right and it's running like this but i don't like this way so this one is more uh, uh, more visible and uh, a quicker way right demo dot test and it's running everything right and here now question comes that how we can uh, set up the laravel application right so in this way, if you want to install the Laravel application, you need to install, uh, you need to copy your app and add this into the, into this directory, right? But uh, like I told you previously, here you need to stop this out because it will create the, it will locate the root directory in the index folder. But in the Laravel, we have directory with, within the public folder, right? Index.php is stored in the public folder. So make sure to stop this out. Otherwise it will create domain in the different folder and it will not run it properly through this domain, right? And here, now let's talk about how to set up the path in the Laragon, right? So just go here and type uh, CMD, right? CMD and here just check that we have uh, our uh, PHP is installed in the CLI, our mm, system variables are set or not, right? So by default, they are not set Type PHP hyphen version. So basically I'm going to use the check the PHP version. So just enter and it says that PHP is not recognized as an internal or external command. What is this? So it means that our path is not set. So now question arises that how we can set up the paths. So there are two ways. The first one is we can automatically add the path like this. So just go here, go to this tools and click on this and just go here path and click on this add Laragon to path, right? So it will set up our PHP path, right? And uh, if you want to use this for different versions, like you want to use a specific version, so how you can use a PHP specific version. So that's why I'm going to first tell you that how you can add this in the custom way, right? So just click on this for uh, before this, I'm going to tell you that uh, how it's working. Just click on this add Laragon and it says that what is added. And if I go here and type PHP CMD and PHP hyphen V, so it's telling us that 8.1 is installed, right? Now question comes that how we can use this 7.4 and stuff like that, right? So just go here, exit this out, go here, just click on this, so right click on this, tools, path, and just click on this remove path, right? And go back here and type PHP and make sure to restart this panel. Otherwise, if you are doing some changes and reflecting, uh, expecting that it will be reflected, it, these will not be reflected. So make sure to turn this off and turn this on again. Click on this and it's still staying the same that uh, our PHP path is not set. So now question arise that how to set up the PHP path, right? So just go here in the tab and type ENV and click on this edit system environment. So I clicked on it and there is uh, also one more button here, environment variable. So just click on this and there is there are two types of variable. The first one is uh, user variables and system variables. So you don't need to play around with this system variables. Just go here, click on this path and type edit, uh, click on this edit button. And here you need to uh, add your path, right? So we need to add which path. So just go here go to the c drive i'm going to walk through the from the um, very basic uh, from start to 
okay just click on this logon and here you need to go to your bin directory and in the bin bin you have a php directory right and in the php by default it's contain the latest version of php which is downloaded uh, when we downloaded this logon right and uh, now just to copy this above uh, thing no just copy this above thing and you need to also copy this folder name right to specify that which php version we want to run so just to copy the above one and you can also name this shorter right like i don't want to uh, type this uh, very longer so just remove this uh, thing like uh, this php 8.1 save this like this and yes now just go here go to the environment variable and here you need to click on this new and uh, paste your path c slash logon slash bin and here after this you need to specify your php path right so php version so in my case i have a php 8.1 which we renamed right now okay yes it's saved okay okay and okay php-8.1 right so just go here and type cmd and type php hyphen okay hyphen v and it's throwing that uh, yeah so, uh, unable to load dynamic library oh it's uh, why it's happening right so i notice uh, I found the problem why it's happening because we did the changes and our PHP is running in the different directory and we change its name right so just to make sure to restart it and it will be restarted with the PHP 8.1 and then it will library path will be set and we don't need to worry about these things okay and uh, just go here type cmd and type php hyphen v hit enter and yes now it's displaying that 8.1.10 right which is our current php version so now question comes that uh, how we can uh, how we can change the php version if we if uh, our project contain the 7.4 so we want to run the 7.4 so how we can run this out so let me check the video size oh my god our video size is going bigger so in the next video i will tell you that how to download a specific version from the php official website and uh, how to add this in the laragon so if you like this video subscribe the channel and share your feedback in the comments box bye bye